everybody, how's it going? I got a sweet comparison video today called Operation Hoodie Rescue. I got a little backstory before I get into the meat and taters of it. A few weeks ago, I went for a ride at White Cloud with some buddies on my YZ250X. We started riding hard. I got hot, tossed my hoodie in a tree so I could grab it on the way out. It's an out and back trail with a loop at the end. Long story short, I forgot the hoodie, so I made the two hour trek back on the 990R to grab it a few days later. It's a crap hoodie, I know, but it has some sentimental value and I practice leave no trace as much as possible. So I had a few reasons to come back, um, let alone just riding the 990 on some trails and that's a riot in itself. Uh, then I got to thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I made a comparison video of the YZ250X versus the 990 Adventure R? We could compare pace, um, characteristics on the ride, all the good noises because both these bikes sound amazing and we'll get into it. Okay, first things first, the most obvious difference here will be pace. This is the same segment of trail and the 2021 YZ250X with me, who I believe an average rider, completed the segment in 55 seconds. Me on the 990R took one minute and eight seconds. So some easy math tells us that this is an increase in pace of approximately 23% on the YZ250X. Now, the day I rode the YZ, this was pretty close to the end of the ride and I was getting pretty pooped at this point. Um, you'll notice there's some occasional slip ups here and there, but the 990 ride was only two days later, so I was basically in the same condition for both of these rides at this point. So we'll let this segment play out. Um, the YZ is going to finish first, obviously, and uh, we'll let the 990 creep along to the finish line. I'll start another segment after this and we'll discuss the bikes themselves. Um, the YZ and the 990 are quite different, but not as far apart as it gets. I have a Goldwing also, and that is far different than the YZ. So we'll go over some of the similarities and some of the differences in the bikes, the setup, um, and what we got going on there. So, All right, segment two of three. In this segment, you'll notice a significant difference in pace of almost 40% faster on the YZ. Um, times are 57 seconds for the 250X and 1 minute 28 for the 990R. Now I was pushing much harder on the YZ in this segment um, and I was sort of warming up my off-road legs on the 990R. I just got into the trail. Um, this is not the beginning of the trail. I just jumped on at a different point in the 990R. Uh, I had just rode two hours of highway to get to the trail so I had to loosen up. Um, also, I put much more physical effort into the YZ. Um, you can often hear me breathing in the GoPro, um, whereas the 990, I'm laughing and making jokes um, about how much fun I'm having on the 990. And sometimes on the YZ, I'm breathing so hard I'm not sure I could even talk. So another difference in pace is that I trailer the YZ everywhere, um, whereas the 990, um, I have to ride it home, so I don't want to break it. Um, and also I have a big tank bag. Um, I had water in there, first aid kit, um, you know, a bunch of other things, food I even had at this point, um, extra gear to keep warm and dry on the way home. So lots of differences there. All right, while well, the 990 finishes its slowest segment, let's talk about the bikes for a minute. Uh, both bikes are pretty modified, so they both have the suspension resprung and valve for my style. They both have very aggressive tire setups and horsepower mods while trying to stay as light as possible, especially on the 990. Uh, speaking of weight, we can compare that real quick. The 250X as set up, I believe weighs about 235 pounds. Uh, that's very light compared to the 990R's current weight in this video of around 490-ish pounds. Uh, let's compare the engines just for fun. Um, the YZ250X is a two-stroke single cylinder 250cc, um, somewhere just north of 50 horsepower. Um, the 990 is a 999cc V-twin uh, at about 120 horsepower in current trim. Um, and if anybody has questions about either bike, um, please drop a comment as both are extremely modified and I'd be glad to answer any questions. I just don't have time to cover all that in this video, but uh, definitely like communicating with you guys. So go ahead and drop some comments or questions and uh, let me know what you think. So this last segment here is the end of the YZ ride and I was pooped, but I was pushing the 990R pretty hard in this segment since I only rode six or so miles of the trail and I still felt okay. Um, times were four minutes, 11 seconds for the YZ and five minutes, 10 seconds for the 990R, resulting in a 21% faster pace in the YZ even when I was exhausted. Now I know it's not really fair to compare these bikes like this, but I love the fact that the 990R is, in my opinion, holding its own. A lot of people don't really use their adventure bikes like this and that's sort of shame to me uh, yeah they do take a little bit more effort to ride off-road yeah they are heavy 
but they are plenty capable on the trail and it's an absolute riot to ride the big girl in the woods and then ride two hours back to the house after. Now, I've only really been riding for about two years on bikes and um, I managed the 990 okay. I would say I'm like maybe a little bit above average rider in the woods. Um, I've never been on a motocross track or anything so I can't say I see class B class or anything like that. I will say that I really can't put into words how much enjoyment I get from this KTM 990R. Um, I will publicly say this is absolutely my favorite of the six bikes I own. Um, it's truly an adventure machine and a wonderful package by KTM. Um, and I don't see myself really ever selling this bike, although I wouldn't be you know, too awful upset about moving away from any of my own bikes. I, I do love the YZ250X, um, but it, it just doesn't give me the same satisfaction that the 990 does um, for the way that I use these bikes now. The YZ250X, yep, it's a woods missile. Um, it's great in the woods and things like that, but I can't really go anywhere on it. I got to trailer it everywhere. It's not street legal. Even if I made it street legal, it's just a pain to carry oil and mix and blah, blah, blah. The 990R, you can just hop on it, go wherever you want, however many miles you want. You can cruise 90 on the highway all day. You can get in the woods and rip it. Um, I mean, it's, it's just been a do-it-all bike. I've got soft bags for it. I've got other videos on here if you guys want to check them out of me camping off the bike, riding trails at night even, you know, whatever. So um, I do have a question for everybody that's watching the video still. Uh, which bike do you prefer the sound of better? I love two strokes. I'm not a like, four-stroke advocate, I guess, or whatever, um, but the 990, the V-twin noise is like, oh, it's so good, you know? Um, the Acro pipes, man, it just sings. Um, but also, I love two-strokes, so the YZ250, you know, it makes a wonderful noise to me also. So go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. It's the beginning of the riding season here in Michigan, so activities are getting fired up again. I would love to ride with some other Michigan riders, so drop me a comment if you want to do a group ride. I'm pretty much down for whatever type of riding at this point. Um, I will be doing a dual sport group ride with some local guys here this weekend, so keep your eyes open for that video in a week or two. Also, I need to get a ride in with my YouTube buddy, Captain250FX. Go check his channel out if you can. He's got tons of great YouTube videos of Michigan trails also. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do want to give a quick shout out. I found a cell phone on the trail randomly um, and I had stopped to eat and I saw these two dirt bikes headed into the woods like away from the trailhead um, with no headlights. So when I found the cell phone I stopped and picked it up I was like it's got to be these guys. Um, there's no way they'd be heading into the woods getting dark unless they were looking for something. So um, I grabbed it, took it to the parking lot, waited in the parking lot so I could give it to them. Um, they were super cool, super appreciative. Um, the guy's name's Andy. He runs a page in a group called Clutch Racing. Um, he gave me a sweet Clutch Racing beer koozie for returning the phone. So I wanted to thank him for that and congratulate him on his recent engagement. Thanks, Andy, and hopefully I see you on the trail or the track sometime. Um, also, I want to thank everybody for watching the video. Um, if you guys enjoy what I'm doing here, go ahead and like and subscribe if you would. Drop comments. Let me know what you think. Again, which bike sound do you like better? The, the big bore uh, 1000cc V-twin or do you like the two-stroke singer? Um, you guys let me know. And thanks for watching again. Hope everybody has a great day. See you later.